All right, LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, this video is in defense of Tanya Evinger. Um, you know, I've had my disagreements with Tanya Evinger. I, I've had them, you know, in the first uh, Kuniskanya fight. I, I thought that, you know, she complained and complained, but I, I thought she got submitted. But, you know, Tanya Evinger definitely earned a lot of respect because she came back and she avenged that loss like a true champion would. Whether we hate Tanya Evinger or not, this video is in defense of Tanya because, you know, she's been working her butt off. One thing I do know that this woman has been working, Tanya Evinger, she done been in the octagon with some of the best, okay? She has beaten some of the best and she done been in there with some of the best. And this woman, for years, she's been trying to work her way up into the UFC. And, and, and you would have think that, you know, they would have taken notice of her anyway. Because Tanya Evinger has been consistent. She's been consistent. You might not even like her demeanor at times, but you can't say anything about the woman's work ethic. You go to any one of Tanya's social media accounts, you see video. Look, man, Tanya Evinger, she put it in. Tanya Evinger put it in. But see, this is what irritates me. And this is what really pissed me off. Why Tanya Evinger? And I'm not saying I'm happy for Tanya Evinger to go to the UFC. Because that's, that's what she's been working for. That's what she wanted to do. I'm happy that she gets an opportunity. Because I would never, ever hate on a legend like Tanya Evinger. I mean, I'm happy. But you know what? Why not bring up Aaliyah Letson, who's knocking people out in every fight? Leah Letson putting these girls to sleep. Leah Letson point blank said, please, I want to fight Cyborg. Leah Letson begging for this fight. Why not move up Leah Letson? And I'm not saying, you know, there's something wrong with Tanya Evinger, but she's a true bantamweight. Tanya Evinger is a true bantamweight. Why? Why Tanya Evinger? See, man, it's this narrative going around. And the narrative is that, you know, Cyborg fights smaller women. She fight them. But then we say, well, who else is there for Cyborg to fight? There are some killers in that 145-pound division. And if you go look at that roster at Invicta, it's some tough opposition. But see, again, here's my thing. Chris Cyborg is bad for business. Tanya Evinger is expendable. Because you got to think, okay, well, how much longer does Tanya Evinger have in the game? And it sucks because I think Tanya Evinger should be allowed to fight in the Bantamweight division and compete against some of those Bantamweights in that top 10. And I think Tanya Evinger could beat a lot of the Bantamweights in the top 10. I think she could beat them hands down. I don't think, I, I don't think that she can beat Valentina or Amanda. I, I don't think she can beat those two, but I think anybody else, it's a very competitive fight, and Tanya Evinger can probably win many of those matchups. But see, now, this is what it is. This is what it is. Tanya Evinger, my friend, they think you're expendable. Protect yourself. And I'm not telling you to go in there and just, you know, flop, flop a fight. I ain't telling you to do that. But definitely protect yourself. Okay, go in that fight with the attitude of survival. Because everything is against you. Everything. I mean, you got media, you got odds makers, everything is against you. And this ain't no motivational video to you. I'm just, I'm just, I'm in defense of you. I do the motivational video later because you're gonna need it. But it sucks. It sucks how how this is how it has to be. So all that hard work that Evanger has done over these years. All the names that this girl got under her belt. All the names on her resume that she got. This is what it is. She gets a position of being expendable. Okay, cool. And if Tanya Evinger got the upset, I wouldn't be upset. I Honestly, I wouldn't be upset. Because I'm a fan anyway. I'm a fan. I'm a fight fan. Yeah, I'm a diehard Cyborg fan. But if Evinger won, I'd still be happy for Evinger. Because, see, man, here go the thing, man. It's not just your Chris Cyborgs. 
your Marion Reynos, okay? It's not just them. It's not your Alexa Grazos. It, 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 it's not them. They get taken a dump on. You also got fighters like Leslie Smith. Leslie Smith. Fighters like her. You also got fighters like Tanya Evinger. I mean, you, you have these fighters who, who no matter what, they're not going to get a fair shake. It's not going to happen. They ain't going to get it. Everything they get, they, they have to literally go in there and they got to earn it the hard way. See, they don't have millions of people trying to back them. They, they don't have it. They don't have a million people trying to back them and get on a band. They ain't got that. You know what they got? Those kind of fighters, they just got their hands. That's it. They got their hands and their feet and they got their skills. Because if they start losing, then they never going to get pushed. That's just how it is. We see how it worked with Paige Van Zandt. We see how it worked with Holly Holm. We see how it worked with Ronda Rousey. That's how it is. And I don't know, man. I hope, man. I mean, I would love to see Leah Letson fight Chris Cyborg. I would love to see that fight. That, that's a tough matchup. Leah Letson is not going to go away. Leah Letson going to stay in there and she going to bang out the back. She going to bang it out. That's a fight that's preferable. That's a fight that I would want to see. They can make that fight. They can make that fight because Leah Lexon could probably go in the strawweight division and be a lot of strawweights. Leah Lexon is no joke, okay? The girl is tough. I co-sign that fight. Let's hope and pray that the UFC, they hear this, and maybe, maybe, maybe they can get Leah Lexon in there. That's a more competitive fight. It's much more competitive. It's more compelling because Leah Letson know how to strike. Chris Cyborg know how to strike. It's going to be a compelling fight. But Chris Cyborg, she ain't going to show Tanya Evinger no mercy. Tanya Evinger, not, she's not a superior striker, and Chris Cyborg going to go in there and piece her up. That's what's going to happen. It is. And the styles don't match up, and, and Tanya Evinger not suited. But a Leah Letson, absolutely. Leah Letson is, is, is completely suitable to go in there and actually put up a fight. And you know, and Leah Letson, she got that head kick. I can tell you now, Cyborg will be at risk if her head get exposed to that head kick. I'm telling you, the fight's a beautiful matchup. But Tanya Evans, look, you, you keep your head up, man. You keep fighting, you keep working, because you are a Hall of Famer. You're a future Hall of Famer, okay? I mean, you've done so much in the sport, and I got nothing but mad respect for you. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.